All right, guys, I am about to show you how to use Mixamo with After Effects and Element 3D. First, uh, you're going to want to sign in, then click Browse Characters. Today's experiment, we're going to be using Chad. He's a medical type character. <clears throat> you can find him on the second page or just click in the search box and type Chad. And there he is. All right, so he's in a standard T pose. Let's move over to animations and let's type in well let's erase chad and then let's type in walking now there's tons of different kinds of walks you can use here these are all motion capture animations there's the normal one there's like a zombie one i guess chad hurt his leg here here he's tiptoeing so we'll just use the regular walk All right, some important things here. Uh, look at the overdrive. So what that does, it'll reduce or uh, expand the amount of frames in the animation and the speed at which he walks. But very important, that checkbox that is clicked here, in place. Um, and then adjust that speed to the correct, you know, speed that you'd like him to walk at. Anyhow, once you got that all figured out, mess with those sliders, click download. Now make sure that you use the Collada here and go ahead and click download. Don't use FBX. Um, just tell it where you want it to save. Uh, pick your directory and create a new folder. Call it Chad and click save. Or you can call it Chad Walking. Yeah. I probably would. I don't want to mix all these up. Before too long, you're going to have thousands of animations from this. All right, so show in folder. Once it's done downloading, hit Extract All. And this will create a new folder right next to the zipped up one. So Blender can't read the zipped file, so you have to unpack it. Now you have the DAE file. And now open up Blender. Click File, Import, Collada, DAE. Navigate to the folder. Good old Chad. Walking. Boom, there's your DAE file. Okay, now import Collada. Really fast and easy. As you can see, he starts off in the T pose, but as soon as you touch that timeline, he'll assume the position in the animation. As you can see, he's walking in place. Now what we have to do is trim the timeline. As you can see, uh, the animation ends right here at 40 frames. So click there, type in 40, and what that'll do is it'll trim off the excess timeline from the animation. Now click File, Export, Wavefront OBJ. Now, very important here, click animation on the bottom left hand side. All right, otherwise you're just doing a still OBJ. Okay, navigate back to the Chad folder, create new folder. Let's call this one OBJ, Chad OBJ, Chad walking OBJ. All right, and then name your sequence, same deal, Chad walking. Again, this is so you don't confuse this with any other OBJ sequences. You want to make sure each one has its own folder because it can be a lot. And just go ahead and click there. And uh, as you can see, Blender is taking its time and working. What it's going to do is create this folder and each frame is going to have its own OBJ and its own MTL file, which will link all of the textures in that folder to the model. And these are the ones if you want to mess with these in Photoshop to grudge up your models or whatever. All right, so now we're in After Effects. So let's go ahead and create new composition. This is going to be 1080p. We're going to call it Chad and make it for 10 seconds. Click OK and right click, hit New, Solid, and this will be Element, Element Chad. All right, click OK. I always make mine green. Right click uh, and go to Effect, 
video copilot element. All right, once you apply element, click on the scene setup. Always takes a second. And there we go. And click on file, import, very important, 3D sequence instead of 3D object. All right. Then you just navigate to the correct folder. Again, Chad Walking. Choose the OBJ folder that we made. And click on the first one of those. By Automatically, it will import the entire sequence. Click on Normalize because sometimes the, the size of your model just doesn't come through for some reason. All right, now as you can see, we have our model. If you just move this slider, you can see that the animation, the baked animation, is ready to go. All right, let's put that back to one. Now something very important, never use this y-axis to move your, your character. Always use the alignment tool to align the anchor point to the bottom of your model. All right, now as you can see, we have, just go ahead and click OK. As you can see, we have, uh, yeah, we have our model. He's imported now into After Effects. Let's create a camera and let's move that camera around and I can show you. Uh, we're inside After Effects manipulating the 3D motion captured uh, element here. To make it easier, let's just go ahead and change the resolution down to a quarter. This will be much faster. Yeah, there you go. Now, when you press play, you see that that animation repeats itself. Again, that's why we did it in the walk in place method uh, with Mixamo. And uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys found that helpful. Uh, again, think about dropping a like on this video and hit subscribe to check out more Disintegrator Films tutorials and uh, videos. Yeah, so thanks for checking it out and uh, we'll see you guys next time.